My name is Ellie. Today is Sunday the 18th of October 2015. I'd like you to take a moment to think what you were doing this time last year. At school or at work maybe. Maybe you're out with your friends having a good time and generally enjoying life. This was me one year ago. This is me today. Bit of a difference? Today marks the one year anniversary of cutting my hair off. I used to be like all the other girls and had long, really long hair. And my hair was soft. So soft that every day numerous people came up to me and just felt my hair. I was just like everybody else until the 18th of October 2014. This was the day that I woke up and started looking at pictures of women and girls with short hair and thinking, would that suit me? Would I look stupid? So I asked my mum. She has short hair and so does everybody else in my family. She thought it would look nice and in a matter of minutes I'd made up my mind. My hair was going to go. So my mum booked an appointment for the very same day before I could chicken out. But then I started thinking, what should I do with the hair? After some deliberation, I decided to donate it to the Little Princess Trust. I've spoken about the Little Princess Trust before on my channel, and I honestly think that they're a truly amazing charity. If you don't know, they make wigs for young cancer patients who've lost their own hair, and I think that that's a beautiful concept. People who know me will know what I'm talking about when I say we all suffered a great loss that year and it felt more than fitting to use my hair in this way to help those battling against and beating cancer. So once I'd made up my mind, I made my way to the salon and I told them what I wanted. Honestly, they looked terrified when I told them, but I was certain of what I wanted. I remember I had to tie my hair into a ponytail and when I heard the sound of the scissors against my hair, my heart was in my mouth. I looked in the mirror and saw that I had a bob. From that point on, I was no longer nervous and just wanted to get rid of the bob as quickly as possible. I sat down in the chair and made the conscious decision to close my eyes the whole time. Then after what felt like forever, they were finally done. And when I opened my eyes, I was extremely shocked. It wasn't what I'd expected and I didn't know if I liked it. But after a few snips here and there, I got a style that I was happy with. I remember I didn't tell anybody about what I'd done. No one knew apart from my mum and dad. And the next day, I went to an Ed Sheeran concert with one of my friends, and she was the first person to see me with my new hair. I was so nervous to see her, but she didn't even bat an eyelid when she opened the door, because she thought I'd just got it tied back. Then she looked a little closer, and her jaw dropped, but luckily, she liked it. Then the next day at school, I was once again beyond nervous was waiting to be judged by everyone. Luckily, no one was too mean, but there were a few lesbian comments, and I still get that to this day, along with numerous comments that I look like a boy. It affects me a lot and hurts like hell, but just knowing that I've influenced another person's life in a positive way it makes it a little bit more bearable and makes the whole thing worth it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.